This is my Jonay One Light Review. I've spent about a month with this device and I'll tell you, I'll answer some questions that you might have about this device. Now the first question is... Well, it comes with 20 MP front facing camera, which is a lot, and 13 MP back facing camera. But you know, the megapixels don't make a camera. And during my time of using the um, Jonay One Light, I discovered that the output was quite okay. You can see right now on the screen, the colors are vibrant, they were sharp enough. However, what I did notice was that the colors can sometimes look like they are exposed. Hey, so this is the front camera of the Jonay One Light, and let me know what you think. But personally, I think the colors are slightly overexposed as you can see outside looks like it's really bright so guys I am on my way to Google Nigeria for an event and I'm on with the June A1 light the battery is currently at 100% but let's see how this goes and this is the front camera of course and i'll be switching to the back camera in a minute so yeah not bad although if you look closely or if you just take a glance at it especially if you're coming from a high-end display um, the colors might look washed out it's not saturated enough overall the display is not bad and it does well under direct sunlight too which brings me to the third question and it has to do with the battery guys the battery life on the journey a1 light is amazing it will last you the day on normal use and even to the next day. Now talking about charging, this takes a long time to charge. It took me about three hours to charge. It. The Johnny A1 Lite audio is quite loud and it does a job well. And then you can shake to change. Hey, so yeah, it's not bad at all. But because of the fact that the speakers have been placed at the back of the device, using the speakers mean you have to place the device facing downwards instead of upwards. Question number six. It does. And um, this is turned to the metal view. The metal view that allows it to get slightly above the warm mark if you're playing highly intensive game. The next question is about the fingerprint sensor. And it will interest you to note that the Journey A1 Lite's fingerprint sensor is efficient, is effective, is I have no complaints at all. On to the performance, I find that the 3 gig RAM on the Jone One Lite is good enough to meet your multitasking needs. The applications resume, um, it can play highly intensive games. For the gamers out there, you will not have any problem with this device at all. And for those that want to use the device for the regular stuff, this is also capable enough to meet your needs. Do I have any concerns? Yes, I do. There are some things I do not cover in the questions that are quite um, not really a problem but um, might be a concern for some of you out there and the one thing is um, with the OS now if you are coming from the stock Android experience or slightly stock Android experience the experience on the Journey One Lite might take some time getting used to of course if you give yourself about two weeks with the device you get you get a hang of it and the last thing before i end the video has to do with the notification sensor the journey a1 light doesn't come with the led notification light which is um not really a big deal but it's good for you to know about that too so guys that is all i have for this video let me know what you think about the journey a1 light and as always do not forget to subscribe follow me on instagram and um check my blog it's mistake.com until i come away next time i'm talking too fast here but yeah, <laughs> do have a lovely day. Bye. I just want to use the device for the